Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Buyer's Products Stake Pocket Spare Tire Carrier. Now this is designed to fit with most spare tires with bolt patterns 5 on 4.5, 5 on 5, 6 on 5.5, and, and 8 on 6.5. Depending also on the diameter of the holes that you've got on your spare tire, whether it's 5 8 or half inch, it's going to come with all the hardware required to fit through those and attach the tire. Now, as far as the stake pockets that it's going to work with, you also want to make sure you've got your measurements right there. So for the carrier, it's going to be three and a half inches wide and it's going to be an inch and a half deep. So just go to the stake pockets on your trailer and make sure that it'll fit in there. And then it secures in the stake pocket with a plate on the bottom. We'll see that a little bit more in the install process, but that's how it's held in place. The carrier is going to be angled, which helps get us more ground clearance and clearance away from the side of the trailer. On our application today, our stake pockets are located directly below our railing here, and that does present a problem with mounting. But luckily, the carrier gets the tire up seven and a half inches from the stake pocket and out six and a half inches from the side of the trailer. So that's giving us good ground clearance at the very bottom and clearance from our railing on the side. And as far as the installation process goes, it's gonna be very straightforward. Pretty much just drop it in the stake pocket, secure it, and add your tire. Let's go through that process now. Starting off the installation, we're gonna take the spare tire carrier and slide it into one of our stake pockets. It's not gonna pass all the way through. It'll bottom out right at this weld point here. And that's where our plate and our longer bolt come into play. In the very bottom of the carrier, we're gonna have a threaded hole, and that's where that bolt will thread into. So popping this back into the stake pocket, that plate will go on the outside of the stake pocket to clamp it in. The bolt will pass up through, and we just need to find that threaded hole with it and start to thread it in place. Now, depending on the way your stake pocket is oriented, you might be able to get the plate on this way or that way with the lip facing up. But for ours, we're gonna actually have the lip facing down. And that's okay because it is wider than the stake pocket overall. So once this is tightened down, it will be preventing the carrier from popping back up through the stake pocket. And that's all we really need it to do. So I'll thread it in by hand and tighten it down with our socket once it's in by hand. And once that's tightened down with a 14 millimeter socket, you're ready to attach your tire. Everything's nice and stable. So in your kit to mount up the spare tire, you're gonna have two different bolts. One larger, the one on top here, and one smaller. And that'll correlate with different holes on the face of the spare tire carrier in this top corner and these two bottom ones. These are gonna be the larger holes that the larger bolt will fit through. You can see the other holes, the two over here and the one up over here, that's not gonna fit through. That's where the smaller hardware comes into play. So depending on the bolt pattern of your spare tire, you'll use different holes. So make sure you just use the right ones, get your tire up into place and you'll see what you need. So we just did a test fit on our tire and we're gonna be using the smaller hardware today. We're gonna go in the bottom most small hole on the right side and the very top hole on the left side. Now get those put in place, pop on the spare tire, and then once it's loosely in place, take the provided lug nuts, get them installed by hand, and then we can tighten them down with our socket. All right, and just like that, everything's fully installed and we're ready to hit the road. Overall, it's not my favorite way to carry a spare tire. It definitely gets the job done and certainly beats having it just loose in your trailer or not having one on hand at all. But I did notice that it's got a little bit more up and down movement than some other spare tire carriers. But sometimes, depending on the trailer you've got, a stake pocket is the only option you do have. I might recommend looking into the Demco stake pocket spare tire carrier. I've got a little more hands-on with that one, and it's got some adjustment features, and overall, it just felt more solid and sturdy than this one. I think that really also comes down to your stake pocket and maybe how you're mounting it up. 
but regardless, it's gonna get the job done. It's gonna get your spare tire up and out of your trailer and securely on the side so it's ready to go for whenever you need it. Thanks for watching.